What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am an energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the current path for somebody. So let's see who's gonna get it. Aries. What's up Aries? Thank you so much for being here. This message can resonate with you if you have Aries as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus. All right, Aries, so we're going to do the current path. So basically, I'm going to see what path you're on right now, what you did to get to this path, the purpose, and the result. All right, and then we'll clarify towards the end if I need to. Um, most of the time, I need to. <laughs> but let's just see. All right, Spirit Aries, what path are they on right now? The Queen of Cups. Ooh, when this came out, I heard loving on yourself, but this could be you nurturing yourself or someone here. Um, this is like really, I'm really feeling like you choosing you, like you loving on yourself, though. You're choosing what feels good for you, you know? Um, what did you do to get here? The Ace of Wands. You accepted a new opportunity, a new offer here, an exciting one, too. Okay. What's the purpose? The Eight of Wands in reverse. It's like, it's like an opportunity is coming in for another one to be delayed or another one to stop happening. Like the purpose is for something to be, to not come in. It's like this opportunity is meant to block something else. What is the result here? The Knight of Wands in reverse. Hmm. Judgment. Yeah. I feel like you're still going to be a little um, undecisive in and out. Trying to see which one's better. But um, let's see. I want to clarify with these. But you do have judgment at the bottom of the deck. So, I mean, ultimately, an important decision will be made. Yep. And I feel like you're going to make the, the right one. I feel like you're going to make the one that truly fulfills you with the Ace of Cups here. All right. What is this Queen of Cups for the path that Aries is on screen? What is the Queen of Cups? Oh, you got the Three of Pentacles in reverse, the Empress in reverse, and the Six of Cups in reverse. Dang. Dang. Aries with the Ace of Wands here. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Um, I feel like this is coming after a time where it's like you were really stuck in the past. Um, you were, it's like you were still trying to make it work with something that wasn't trying to, that wasn't working is kind of what I'm getting. This could be somebody from your past. With the Six of Cups in reverse. And I feel like there was no love there anyway. Like, it, it's not even love. It's more like... There was nothing here that you could grow, f like create from is what I'm getting. Um, and I feel like you choosing yourself is leaving this all behind. The Three of Pentacles could also be like a family dynamic. Okay, it could also be like a family situation. Ace of Wands, King of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, I mean, I feel like, I feel like you tried. I'm not going to lie with this Ace of Wands. I feel like you wanted a new beginning. Um, but you just quickly realized that it just wasn't going to happen. I feel like, I feel like you were more upset that it turned out in the fa in the way that you had to create some boundaries and put your wall up. So you're like, you know what? Bye, Felicia. I don't even want this anymore. Let me go towards, let me manifest what I truly want. And let me go towards what really makes me happy. Look at how happy she is here. So yeah, so good for you, Aries. Good for you. All right, what is this Ace of Wands here for what you did? What is this Ace of Wands? Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Cups in reverse. You have the Five of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. Wow, Aries. All right, so you accepted a new beginning here that's going to work out a lot better for you, but it is going to cause... A lot of change, five, five, five of pentacles, five of wands, as well as a lot of drama, a lot of chaos with people. I feel like you're going to have to, it's like people might kick you to the curb or you might kick people to the curb. I don't know. It's like some people are not going to like that you're accepting this new opportunity or that you're taking this new opportunity, but you're going to be successful with the six of wands. Like you're going to be victorious in that. So they're just haters. Okay. Um, you definitely made the right choice. All right, what is this Eight of Wands in reverse for the purpose? What was it that was... Ooh. 
Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You have the Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords in reverse, and the Two of Wands. So there was something here that was trying to come in. You were trying to you were trying to make some plans um, in a certain direction that um, you kept getting blockages. Like I feel like you kept like you kept looking towards that direction, and every time you looked towards that direction, it was like either something happens, it didn't make sense, like you know you were redirected. I don't know, um, and it's like this had to happen because the universe doesn't want you to keep looking in that direction. They want you to be looking at this Ace of Wands because the way, the plans that you have involve going through this Ace of Wands, this new opportunity. For some reason, this new opportunity has something to do with the plans that you're making for your future here. Some of you guys could be moving, okay, with the world and this little um, RV here. So, yeah. And it's crazy. This is this is the perfect example of everything happens for a reason. Like this is the perfect example how how you you know like up here whatever the situation is that you're leaving behind it definitely doesn't feel good, but um you know it's this new beginning is going to like overcompensate whatever you was lost up here. What is this Knight of Wands in reverse for the result? You have the death card. Oh, okay. You have the knight of wands in reverse, the queen of wands in reverse, and the two of cups. So this could be about a love situation here, but there's something about it that you, like, don't like. The death card, the high priestess in reverse, and the three of wands in reverse. I feel like it requires it requires a different version of yourself, um, Aries. With the death card, this is a card of transformation. This is a card of deep change. This is the ego death. So your ego is dying within this relationship, with this, within this dynamic. And that could be why it's a little difficult. And that could be why you'd be pissed. And it's not all fun and, and it's not all fun all the time like you probably wanted to because this is a relationship where it's going to transform you and change you and be and you're going to become the person that you know you always can be that you always could be. It's like this is one of those relationships where it's like transformative. More, it could be with a Scorpio transformative. Um, and, you know, those aren't easy. You have free will. You absolutely don't have to do this. Right. You don't have to. But this is, you know, you signed up for this before you came here. This is what your soul wants from you because there's a whole, there's a lot of, how can I say this? There's parts of you that, I was saying this the other day on my Instagram, that information is in the description box below. As a child, as, as we grow up in this world, we go through things. Everyone has went through some certain stuff in their childhood that now we look back at it and we laugh. But when we were a child, that ish was not funny. That ish was not funny at all, and we were low-key going through it, and it was low-key painful, right? And it low-key hurt our feelings, right? And then as we grew as a child, I mean, as we grew up as an adult, we feel, we felt like we had to continue with that barrier, with that persona that we put to protect ourselves from what we went through in our childhood. But it gets to a certain point, Aries, where we have to realize that that part of us is not is no longer needed, and the world is not, we can't. And that part was created off of a vision, not of a vision, but in a place in our lives where we saw the world in a different way. You know, we grew up, we see that things really weren't how our parents, our loved ones made it seem, right? We have a lot more control than they made it seem, right? Or how we felt like we had back then. Everything is 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 a lot deeper. I don't know why I'm going into a whole... Um, freaking spleel here but the main point is i see you like you know being really pissy um not really pissy but i i feel like you're not as happy that you have to do this but i feel like you know you have to do this or you know you should do this because this is for your this is happening for you not to you you know and if you look at it like that i feel like it'll be better but again you have free will you absolutely don't have to choose this this is not a path that is um you know you know that you're stuck with you have free will but like I said, if I if I was you, I would I would take this just because when we work on ourselves, that's when the blessings come, boo. When we work on those hard parts of ourselves, and I'm telling, and I'm I've been working on myself for years now, and I'm speaking from experience. You digging deep into those parts of you that you don't want to look at, that you don't want to touch, are where the answers are. 
are where the blessings are. Just you peeking, taking a peek in it, you're going to see the difference change the energies around you, how you feel within yourself and what you're going to be attracting. It's like less problems, less issues. Like, and it's always the little things, right? It's always the little things that matter. And, um, but anyways, yeah, I'm talking too much, Aries. That's all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.